Hi guys, it's Holly. It's me again. It's been a while since the last time I filmed a video, so I guess I'm gonna make another vlog then. Um, in today's vlog, I want to talk about how you can improve your English as in pronunciation and speaking, just generally. So, you already know that in order to be good at something, you need to do it more often. So, my tips here for you today is to speak more, talk more, especially trying to find a subject that you like, like a topic, and then trying to find a friend who can talk with you every day, or just about that topic. Join a group, join a, um, I don't know, a coffee shop area, which organize the um, topic that you want to talk about, or a forum, maybe, um, and second tip is to listen. You need to listen regularly to figure out where you are lacking, especially in pronunciation, because not everybody has the best pronunciation in the world, including me. I am not native. This is what I've learned since I was a kid, and I'm still having this accent for a while. I get making fun of that a lot. I don't know. I don't know if it, if it, it is um, really native enough, but I, I feel like I can talk about a lot of stuff, and I can explain um, some matter, uh, as I have to say. But it's not the point. It's the point is that you get your ass down to computer and get it done. Listen, listen for at least. Two minutes every day. Listen to something, maybe about an art show, makeup. If you like makeup, yes, that's what I do. That's what I learned how to do my makeup from YouTube, obviously. And uh, um, or some English channel that you like. I don't expect you to like this specific channel, but I'm very glad that I'm here with you today. It is exactly 1 a.m. in the morning, and I'm filming this video. Um, that is a proof of do whatever you want, whenever you want, in learning, especially learning a language. You need to have the sense of um, willingness within you to do it, because you cannot, you cannot just... Uh, you know, absorb it like air. You need to actually open the books and read them. So read them, listen to it when you feel like it right away. So that is a good time and the best time that you can uh, remember all the knowledge and you can focus because you're in the mood of doing it. So it's better for you to actually learn and practice while you already have the interest of doing that. I feel like that is a better a vibe to um, submerge yourself in, uh, unlike all the other people that um, really pressure themselves to do what they don't like. I don't see that is the point of doing this. So learning a language, any skill is good for you, um, especially English, as in you can actually interact with someone after learning the skill. Uh, secondly, you get to learn all the knowledge goes within it because whenever you want to talk about something ooh, uh, uh, that paragraph about that topic i've learned last week so mm, okay i know about this one so i can talk about it you get more you gain more confidence within yourself you know more and i feel like the fact that it's language especially english is already a bridge connects you to the new world so I don't see why you should not learn it. And and yeah, with by practicing every day with talking and listening to it or listening to podcasts, listening to music and probably listening to your friends. If you do have friends from overseas or I don't know, just hit up with this kind of channel and you can hear me rambling about English because this is also how I practice my English. And so, again, if you feel like you want videos or you, if you feel like you have any questions, feel free to leave it down below because 
I can probably help you with that. Anyway, long story short, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. No, actually, I'm glad that you, you're with me. Anyway, I need to cut this part from this video.